Lowell's Lane. Hello. I thought I'd take some time to put together a video of all my creatures. Uh, I'll put the times in below so you can skip past any that you're not really interested in. There's quite a few to get through, so uh, let's go. First up is my crested gecko, Enrique. I've had him about eight years. He's very cute. Doesn't really like being picked up though. Um, then we've got uh, better fish. I've got two of these, very similar looking. Um, separate tanks because they're um, Siamese fighting fish they'll they'll attack each other if they can see each other and um, Swimmy Hendrix and the other ones Taylor Hawfins and moving on we've got my Neon Tetras they're in the same tank as one of the betters uh, nice schooling fish And then uh, plecos. Now they're bristlenose plecostomus. I've got um, two tanks with these in. Um, one tank seems to be of a smaller type than the other type, and um, both of them have lots of babies. So uh, as you can see, there's fish of all different sizes in the bottom there. Moving on to another tank, my red cherry shrimp, Neocardina davidi. Um, bought around 40 of these and put them in a in a huge 380 litre tank. And uh, they've bred well, and now I've got hundreds. They always seem busy doing something, uh, or happily swimming around. Really interesting to watch. And here we have my Tlilto cattle vegans. That was so much easier on that with Brachypelma vegans. Um, I suspect he's a male um, because he's got so big and gangly. Um, I should look for tibial hooks and things just to see. But uh, don't like to disturb him too much. He does like to go walkabouts. And this is my Mexican fire leg, Brachypelma bimai. Don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, I suspect that's a female, um, recently molted. Loves to flick hairs. Uh, got, had some very itchy arms from, from her. And this little fella is my Brazilian red rump, Gramostola Acteon. He's about 18 months old, um, always ready to eat. Um, always has that curious bald patch on his bum for some reason. Um, lovely spider he is. And this is my royal jumping spider, Phidippus regius. Um, it was so small when I got it, I was worried about how I was going to keep it alive, but uh, it's molted a couple of times fairly quickly. 
um, and he's gorgeous I'm pretty certain it's a male no idea what he's doing this is an old web that he's he's in um, it's tempting to say he's playing almost but because uh, there doesn't seem to be any purpose to what he's doing but he's so cute And this is my Pogolotheria metallica, uh, Guti Sapphire Autumn Ornamental. Uh, you might have seen a, an unboxing video from Spider Shop recently. It's going to be gorgeous when he gets older. And this is my um, Brazilian white knee, a Canthoscaria geni geniculata. Um, it's tiny, well it's still tiny now, but uh, it's molted since I've had it. Uh, fortunately it's dug itself down into a little tunnel. I uh, didn't want to disturb it for the video. But uh, you can start to see the stripes on its legs. And this is um, my Pteranoculus murinus OBT, Orange Baboon Tarantula, or Orange Bitey Thing. Um, also small, not as small as the, the Brazilian White Knee, but um, again it's molted since I've had it. And just starting to see a little bit of the colour on it. This is, if I get the camera in the right place, uh, my Heterometrus petersi. Um, as you can tell, I'm not a, not a fluent in Latin, so I hope that's right. So Asian forest scorpion. Um, this video is from the unboxing um, that I've already shown on here in another video, as um, it hides away and I didn't want to disturb it too much um, in the light. However, um, scorpions or most scorpions that I know of glow under UV light so um, I crept into the uh, to the animal room late last night and uh, shined a, a UV light onto onto him and here's a picture of that or well, here's some video of that I should say um, there'll be a link Amazon affiliates link to the UV light below in case you want to get one And this is um, my dwarf wood scorpion, Loyocholes australasii. Um, this was also from the unboxing because it's so small, it's uh, really difficult to see in its in its tiny enclosure. Um, so you can see just how big it or how big it wasn't. Um, and uh, also gave that uh, a UV treatment. Uh, in a second um, because it's actually really difficult to see if it's even if it's in there or even alive um, but as you can see from the UV footage when it when I get in the camera in the right place it is moving around and uh, clearly alive and these are my Platymeris bigotatus white spot assassin bugs uh, I've got five of these, they're just nymphs, um, in this video you can see two of them 
tucking into crickets that they hunted. It's quite interesting watching them go on the hunt for them. And finally, uh, these are my isopods. Got dairy cow isopods and tropical grey isopods. Um, Porcellio lavis and Porcellionides pruinosis. Uh, sounds like a nasty infection. <laughs> um, something about relaxing watching these, just wandering around. Um, they're so easy to keep. And no danger to anything, unless you're a dead leaf or wood. Um, so they're just really nice watching them wandering around being busy. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, tour through all of my animals. If you'd like to see any in any more detail or some feeding um, videos, how about leaving some comments? Um, and I'll do my best to get a video together of, of what you've asked for. Um, see you next time.